Um, thimble chimneys. Always can be a problem with cameras. We figure out another way to get these things in and out without too much difficulty. This is a piece of lightweight corrugated tube, usually used on dust collection systems for, for sawdust collectors, four inches in diameter. Um, this is usually how I figure out how big it is. I put it around here and it should be come down and touch itself underneath your chin. I cut off a small piece over there and I'm going to put in that prefab to help me get the camera through there. Um, take a piece of tubing, stick in chimney, turn, pop it up past it. Take the camera, which has now been modified. I've cut the sides extra off of it now, so it's a lot, it's shorter. I took over three quarters of an inch of material off of it, so now it's a lot less to get it through. I will stick it in the chimney like this. I also built this, this very flexible piece to put on the back side of it to provide you the ability to get through that. There's one little set screw here, you pop it up, take your button, undo your button from your Rovac or uh, button lock rod and you're ready to go. Um, same thing, you already seen the mini whiskers so you have those so you're set there. All I do is I grab the tube, I hold the bottom of it like this and I push the bristles in like this, stick the camera in. I'm in a chimney. And you see it's relatively easy, uh, not, not that big a deal. If I add a second rod to it from here, I'll push the camera up. It is stiff. I recommend that you have a half inch white rod from, from the Rovac folks because you need that extra stability or you know flexibility to get it through. With this right now it's a little tight to get it through but I can make it. Um, and here's my first joint. If you look up there you can see the camera sitting out there. Look through the crack right there. Okay, so if I want, needed to turn it, it's a little bit tough to turn, but I could turn if I needed to. Um, it would be a whole lot better as further I go up. That's the reason why it's better if you have the half inch rod. Now, getting it back down, all you have to do is again, is pull down like this, hold the tube. Take this off. Bring the camera down like so. Now, if you notice, the camera is inside the tube. All right, so all I have to do is start like this. and all the pushing and shoving and whatnot is inside the tube. That means the cable's not getting stuck on it. It also means if I want to, all I need to do now is pull the tube out like that. The camera's free, ready to go. Now, if I want to do prefabs, the same thing. Okay, this is your standard helator style in the center damper. One, you know, the mechanism's on one side, the other side's free to go. Once I figure out where the free side is, I take this thing, I stick it in here like this, just up past the damper. So it's in the damper itself. Take this. And I'm in. In the chimney. Really simple. So this way here, you guard the camera from getting chewed up on the damper. You also help keep the cable from getting stuck on the damper edges so she'll come down through and your rods and stuff are protected also. It's a win-win all the way around. It's a sacrifice piece, but the big real trick is it's going to save the camera and not get so chewed up. So that's uh, so you can do prefabs relatively easy. Pops right out, hardly even breaking the breeze. And this one here, because it's so flexible, I don't have to worry about deforming anybody's damper. I mean, I can slick that in there like this and I can get it right through the damper. And this thing popped in and out without a problem, so really easy. So, that's how we deal with thimble chimneys now. You can go through from here with the, the bracket, as long as you have this flexible piece on there. And Chuck, just make sure the guys are supplied with a half inch rod for here, so it's have a little more flexibility. So when you get it in here, you have the ability to turn the camera. That's it. Best of luck to you guys, and uh, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Here she is. Bring it back down.